I'm so proud of this movie. I'm really excited that people are going to see it finally. And, you know, these days, it's like to have a movie come out in the theater first is such a treat. So I'm really proud of that, too. Yeah, Grace. Grace and her family, I think they're kind of like a very typical sort of like mid-American family. It's it's kind of a timeless movie, so we're not really in any time period, which I really love about the story. It's timeless, and I think um, they're just like really nice people who want to do the right thing. Sometimes it takes like, um, like a little bit of a wake-up call to remind us that, you know, we have to maybe try a little harder and do a little bit more. And that's what I love about the story of this film and why I was so excited to be a part of it is that like I want everyone to like we have to just open our hearts like a little bit more to everybody. The kids were way better than the adults a hundred percent. I mean they gave so much they were so happy they had so much energy they taught us so much their on-set etiquette was a thousand times better than ours. I was like immediately obsessed with his passion for the story so in general, I just want to work with people who are like crazy, obsessive, passionate about the stories that we're trying to tell. And uh, Dallas reminded me that that's the most important thing. It's not about a paycheck. It's not always about the people. It's like about creating these stories that people will watch forever. Super fun. I mean, it's only November 2nd, and it already feels like Christmas at the Grove, which is already a very... Christmassy place, but they've doc decked it out, and I'm very excited. I'm here with my daughter; she's six years old, and the hope is if this movie strikes her fancy, it'll get folded into our Christmas tradition. Which, honestly, I don't know. Watching myself on Christmas, I'm not sure, but we'll see. If she loves it, we'll do it. Not many Christmas movies even take a stab at uh, nailing the spirit of Christmas, and I think this one does that really, really well. The generosity, the inclusion the seeing of yourself in the other and folding them in. Not only folding them in, but celebrating them. I think that's really the message of Christmas. Well, I'll say on a personal level, the family, me, Judy, Sebastian, and Molly got along really, really well. And we had to right away. We achieved that. I, I was flipping the kids a lot, which was upsetting to the hair people. Uh, but Judy loved it, and Dallas tolerated it. But we bonded very quickly so we could feel comfortable. And Judy is just a delight. We started joking from the moment we met each other and we were laughing, which is wonderful because Judy's a crier when she laughs, so it would ruin her makeup. So I, this is me realizing I was a nuisance. But he's everything you would want in a director. He had a vision, he had a passion, and a lot of patience. And I never had to think about anything except the scene that was in front of me, which is exactly what you want. When I was reading the book to my kids, 20 years ago, I was crying so hard by the end, after laughing throughout most of it, I couldn't see the pages. My wife grabs the book from me, she's reading it, she starts crying, we're just passing it back and forth to each other. Because the story of these outsiders, these kids who are in poverty, and how they're actually closer to the heart of the true Christmas story than everyone else, it just wrecked me. And I love Christmas, I love kids. This story has always transcended age. It's been performed as a play all over the world. It's been read in public schools for years. The teachers love it as much as the kids do. I think it's the beauty of Barbara Robinson's storytelling as, and the, as a book. They're amazing. In fact, even Pete and Judy and Lauren are like, where did you get these kids? Like, they really do carry the film, and it's, it's really fun. So I think, I think it's uh, one of those where we got something up. We, we got something here. Well, the last six words of the movie are delivered by Lauren Graham. They're the last six words of the book. Unto you a child is born. And that phrase is a very famous phrase. It's what the angels say to the shepherds in the famous Christmas story. But I think it also has meaning for what, what do we do now with that. I am so like excited to see the film. Um, it went by so fast, um, and I can't wait to see it. She is like a mean, and then like at the end, she it loves Jesus and loves all that. So it's a really great character. Um, it was great. Um, it was so much fun, and it was great meeting new people. Uh, it feels so um, uh, thrilling because we've been waiting for this day for a whole year, just hoping that people are able to love the movie half as much as we love making it. And I just feel so proud to be able to be here. I think audience are really going to love this sort of throwback feel of the whole thing. Like, it's a very simple story, 
that really reaches out to a wide audience that just wants to bring people in and share the Christmas love. Dallas is an amazing director. It was really great to get to work with him because he was really open to be able to um, uh, interact with his actors and really work together to create a beautiful piece of art that he cared so much about and was so passionate about. Well, I'm just very, very excited to just even be here and to just be with everyone that I filmed with. It, 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 it's just amazing. Well, I'm just honored to even just be here and we made such good connections. It was so amazing. Like, we clicked as soon as we met each other and we've become lifelong friends and I think we will always be in contact. It feels so awesome and wonderful. I've been waiting for this point since we started filming the movie and the people make it so much better. My character is very stuck up and mean, but she thinks she has the right point of view, but she doesn't. <laughs> I think they're gonna love that it's not the same old Christmas movie, the, like that action-packed kind of things. I think it's that it's because it's really because it's really heartwarming and different. Everyone's so loving and the movie is so heartwarming that when people watch it, I think they'll really start to understand the true meaning of Christmas. Everything just feels so special and it's this time of year where everything already feels special so it's just adding on to that. And I'm honored to be part of this project and everyone around me is so grateful and I'm grateful that I had this opportunity to be in with. Personally, I love the comedy in this movie. I think there are so many great scenes that we all found funny. And most importantly, it's very heartwarming, and I think it's great for any type of family to watch. Amazing. We had nothing but camaraderie on set, and um, it truly was special to be able to film with these actors. And for many of us, it was our first time filming a major motion picture, so we all were experiencing stuff at the same time, so it was really fun. Well, Leroy Herdman has a very crazy snack obsession and he's quite mischievous and honestly I think he'd do anything for a snack. Working with all of them was such a pleasure. They're all very nice kids and we all just click like puzzle pieces. I think this makes it such a good holiday film because you don't have to be a young kid to watch it. You don't have to be an old person to watch it. Anyone can watch it. It's fun for everybody. It's so exciting. This is my first project and premiere at the same time. And it's so great seeing everyone again. And it's going to be so weird yet fun seeing myself on the big screen. But I'm honestly amazed that I'm here. My character, Ollie Herdman, from my, he's like, he's obsessed with her cat, Spike. I bring him to school. I terrorize other kids with him. I've got an obsession with my jacket. I, I wear it a lot and I can't wear it in public myself, but he's he's the second youngest. He's not exactly the scariest, but he's kind of in between, in my opinion. It's so much fun. We would hang out after filming, during filming, in between filming. It's, it's still like I'm with them today and it's still kind of funny. Actually, no, not kind of, it's funny. I'm so excited. I mean, it's uh, we got to see a sneak peek of it during Chosen Con. My husband and I were laughing and crying and laughing and crying throughout the entire thing. It's such a heartwarming story, but it's also so fun and funny. Um, so I'm excited for people to get to experience it. I think for the majority, you're laughing because it is just so charming and so funny. Um, and by the end of it, it's it's really touching and it's this really beautiful reminder of of the humbleness of Jesus' birth. And um, yeah, I think I think it'll make people feel all the feels. <laughs> From the youngest kids to the oldest, like it, they are so talented and so, so funny. And um, yeah, it kind of, it blows you away. You're like, these are really talented kids. And uh, yeah, I, I think people are gonna be, it's, I feel like it's gonna be a classic. I don't take it for granted. It's such a special thing to be able to experience that. But to be able to get together with all of the parents and and the cast and all of the kids, it we had so much fun on set. So every single one of them are fabulous and they own their parts. Like there is not one that is like 
doesn't stand out in their own set. <laughs> Dallas is incredible. Like, at one point he was managing like 350 cast members because of all the background, and that's not to mention the crew. But to have so many kids as leads and then so many kids as like secondary characters, he is unbelievable. We're all like in awe and he jokes with them and he's calm and he never raises his voice and he just knows his vision is very specific and you can tell that in the movie. That was really the challenge because it's such a beloved and special book and, and we had actually started this project several decades ago. It's been a long one and so I actually had the chance to work with Barbara Robinson early and uh, the real challenge was keeping the spirit of what she wrote, making the keeping the special element special, but then also taking advantage of making it cinematic in some ways and, and carrying her spirit through a little bit and doing some things. So uh, I'm excited to say she had seen the first draft of the script and uh, had lots of good uh, words for us. I just think in the world today, which is so accustomed to drawing a line between us and them and villainizing the outsider, this is a story about the power of the outsider, about the power of love and community. I just can't think of a time, uh, especially with what we're facing right now, when we don't need that message in our hearts more than ever. I think that if the audience takes a second look at that person that maybe you were quick to judge, maybe you thought they're not like us, and realize we have something very powerful to learn from everybody, and maybe I need to hear their story, and that's going to enrich my own. I would love that to be in people's hearts as they leave the film. It's so incredibly rewarding to see everybody who put so much into this film, uh, to be able to work with Dallas, who was so inspired throughout the entire process by a book that he's loved for years and years and years, and just to get to be uh, back with some of our chosen cast, as well as welcoming uh, some huge talents to, to this cast. I love Christmas. I mean, that's the bottom line, right? So I was working on it in August, as it happens, but I had to bring Christmas into my year. And Christmas is just the best time of year. And Christmas is actually really funny. You know, the things that stand out to us over the years, other traditions, and the moments that really were unusual in, in amongst all those traditions. I think that the core of the film is about these kids crashing a town's traditions. And so many of us, so many of us have experienced that ourselves felt like outsiders or in a position to welcome insiders into the things that we've held sacred for, for years and years, maybe. And in this case, when the Herdmans come in, I think it becomes a, a heartwarming tale that we can see ourselves in both sides. And, oh, the kids are humongously talented. What an awesome feeling of, of discovery Dallas had while working with them every day and finding they could do new things that he didn't even imagine. Um, so our cast is incredible, obviously, and um, the kids are a huge part of it. I mean, it's been a while since we've had that feel-good, um, evergreen Christmas classic. I feel like this is, it starts with the book. I mean, the book, The Best Christmas Pageant Ever, uh, started as a short story in McCall's Magazine in 1972 and then became this best-selling little children's book that uh, my family reads. They're here today. This is so important for them. Uh, they read it every year and uh, to be able to make it into a movie that families are going to love um, was a lot of pressure first of all but I think the movie elevates the book. I'm so happy with it because you laugh and you cry and you get the feels and you celebrate what the true meaning of Christmas is. This is incredible. I hope that families get to feel the same thing when they watch the movie. I think they will. They do such an incredible job and so I'm just so proud of them. They really, uh, the sign of a really good cast and a really good film is when the last day of filming and we call rap and they all start crying. They didn't want to leave. They didn't want to go home. And so uh, I love that family atmosphere that we had. It's really good. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it's, it's kind of surreal. Uh, Dallas Jenkins, our director, had been chasing this book for plus, 15 plus years. I mean, it's something that had been a passion project for him. And so the idea of seeing it come to life, uh, it's a story that like, I, I've never been so proud of a movie. It just promotes hope and it's just something for the whole family and I think right now people desperately need hope so I think it's going to be timed really well for being something that can leave the whole family feeling good and ready to start the Christmas season early. It's one that taps into something that's universally relatable because I think when we talked to Dallas and we were talking about how do we want to kind of bring this story to life he was like I want to make a Christmas classic and I'm like well what does that actually mean and he said I want it to feel like you know those old Norman Rockwell paintings that you, you would if you were to be able to step into one of those and it's like 
those nostalgic childlike memories that don't have a, a date or time stamped on it. It's just how you remember how you felt waking up Christmas morning. This has that. And so I think for children, they'll love it because it's a funny family film. But for adults, it will kind of connect with a child and all of us. It's something that you're going to want to watch with your family over and over again, similar to movies like Elf. And so excited to see young and old enjoy it together. The cast is fantastic. And I, I think for us, it really was about these kids, like finding who these child actors were and kind of assembling that, you know, that, that mayhem. And so it was exciting to see those kind of kids kind of be discovered 